Hello, I'm Crafty Patty. Thanks for tuning in. I've designed a baby blanket for you. Great for beginner knitters as it's just knit and purl stitches. This moss stitch creates a beautiful soft look that looks hard, but it's super easy. I've added a border along the side and also did a ribbed edge for the top and the bottom because that allows it to lie nice and flat. I'm also going to show you a really cool way how to join yarn and it's called the Russian join. So keep watching and let's start knitting. I'm using Bernat Softy Baby Chunky and it is a very nice soft yarn. I do like it. And this particular one is a bulky five acrylic yarn, five ounces, and this one has 155 yards or 142 meters. And the color I'm using is Fluffy Cloud White. And for my needles, I'm using loops and threads, US 10 6 millimeter and a 29 inch. They are circular needles, but we will not be knitting in the round. It's just to hold all the stitches on your needle comfortably. This pattern is super easy. All it is is knit to and purl to throughout the whole pattern. And it is a multiples of four, which means you can vary the size of the pattern. So I'm going to be adding 108 stitches if you want the pattern to be bigger the final blanket bigger, then you would add four more stitches or eight more stitches or 12 more stitches. And don't worry about uh, copying this pattern out. I will leave it in the description box below the video. That's that little tiny arrow that you click on right below and to the right, and it will be there for you. And we'll start with a slip knot. For those that have never made a slip knot, it's very easy. Let's just fold the loop over. So this yarn is coming on the top of this one. And this end is going to come through that hole and you can lift it up with your thumb if you want. And these two ends pull down and it forms a slip knot. So let's put that on a needle and I'm going to cast on 108 stitches or you cast on the amount that you want for your final size of the blanket. So my cast on is a knitted cast on. So I come around, bring that needle through and bring that up. I don't take it off the needle. I now bring my left needle into that stitch on the right. Wrap around, bring it through and up and don't take it off. We've now made two cast-ons. This is number three. And four. I'm going to continue on till I have my 108 stitches cast on. Now go back and make sure and recount, make sure you've got 108 stitches on there because if you've got 107 or 109, your pattern will not work. So your first thing you're going to do is we're going to start a little tiny bit of a border for our blanket. So for our border, we're going to do a knit to purl to ribbing. So let's start with knit in case you're a beginner knitter. So into the first stitch, wrap around, and this time we're going to pull that off the needle. Let's do another one. Knit around and off the needle. Now we're going to purl, so we need to bring that wool or yarn to the front, into the front of the stitch, and we're going to purl one, and purl two. Repeat that along the whole row. So you have to bring that wool back again to the back before you start your knit stitches. And again, knit two and purl two. If you forget where you are, you're wondering if you're doing a knit or a purl, for a purl, you can see the two little ridges on the top, and for the knit, 
you won't see those ridges it's further down so here's our two pearls and here's our two knits and then back to two pearls and your last two stitches should be two pearls so you always end on your pearls and then when you turn this around you will always start your row with two knits on every row so you've just done one row of your ribbed border we're going to do three more rows exactly the same so again knit two and purl two across the whole row and so there's our four rows of our border knit two purl two and now you'll see that on your pattern we have rows one two three and four which completes the full pattern rows one and two are identical to your border so do rows one and two again knit two purl two across the row and then we'll get back to you and we'll start row three together so exactly the same for row one of our pattern of knit two and purl two this actually also helps to form a part of the border but also the beginning of our pattern so our first six stitches are our border so again i'll be starting with knit two purl two and knit two and that is the border portion and now we can go in and start our pattern so our pattern is going to start with knit two and purl two we finished on knit two that's fine we're going to start our pattern with the knit two and that's just how the pattern works that i've figured out so pattern knit two and purl two and com continue doing that through the whole row to get to the last six stitches so and you'll see that we are now starting to create the pattern because our last stitches were pearls so right on top of those two pearls we're going to be putting two knits and that's how the pattern is created so carry on I've done my last two purl stitches at the end of the row and I'm up to my last six stitches here I've ended on two purl but we do need to start with two purl to start our border so again two purl two knit And my last two purl which brings us back to starting our knit on this side and repeat row three for row four and so starting my row four again with my six stitches for my border the two knit the two purl and the two knit and to start our pattern we need to now do two more knits to start our pattern here that was our first two knits on our last row and because we're doing a double moth stitch that's what we're doing two and two so again two more knits and we're off to the races to continue our pattern of two knits two purls across the row to the last six stitches and carry on and this is what we've got so far here's our ribbing for our bottom here's our side borders and this is the pattern it's creating i'm coming to the end of my first ball of yarn so i need to add some more so i'm going to show you another really fun way to add another ball of yarn using the Russian join. So all you're gonna need is a nice sharpened 
darning needle with a large eye, and I'll show you how to do it. Here's the yarn from the new ball of wool. We're just going to loop that around, and we've got about a 5 inch end or 31 centimeters. And here's the yarn from my knitting. I'm just going to attach my needle. And all we're doing is this will be looping into this one. So you've just got it hooked into each other like so. So we're going to work with the one with the needle on it first. And let's just bring our yarn down a little bit. We don't need a long end. And I want to start where it's about five inches from the end of my yarn. So here's my, say, five inches, 31 centimeters. And here's the yarn coming off of my knitting. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be threading this yarn through the long part of the yarn coming off my knitting. Now, this particular yarn tends to unravel quite a bit. So it might not be the case of your yarn. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a twist here. And I'm going to just lock it into my finger here just so it stays twisted. And this is where it's coming underneath and over. So now what I want to do is I'm just going to bring this needle in through all these pieces of yarn. And I want to try to grab the needle so it catches and goes right into that yarn. Okay, and once you've gone through a little bit, just want you to work that all the way through. Like so. And then pull. So I've got my end here and my end here. So I'm just giving it a pull here and then pulling on the other end and pulling it straight, pulling it smooth. And now you've attached the one end and it's nicely all woven in. And you can just cut off that little end here if chosen to, like that. Now let's come back in and we'll do the same for the other side. So grab your loose end and thread your needle again. And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a twist and I'm just going to secure that with my finger a little bit here just to hold it nice and tight. I want to start really close to where this is joined from the other one and grab that needle and work it through the yarn again. And that should be enough. And then grab your needle and just pull that through. Till it's off your needle, and then you can pull, and then we're just going to keep pulling until the end comes through, and now pull on the long end of your yarn, pull that tight, and if it doesn't look like it's bunching up when you've got a hole here, that's okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to pull on that other end again so it cinches it up. You see, now it's cinched it up right to the top. Pull it straight again. And now we can cut off this end. 
And now we've got our yarn all joined together. Isn't that cool? And I'm sitting here trying to find where I joined it and it's such a neat join. I can barely find it. I think it's, it's actually right here. This is really strong too. And the thing I like the most is you won't have to weave in any ends later. It's already done. I'm on my fourth ball of wool and I'm leaving enough to finish up my four rows of rib border on the top here. And we're going to finish off our blanket with our four rows of ribbing like we did in the beginning. So again, we'll be starting with two knit, two purl, two knit, two purl across the whole row. And we'll do that for four rows. So starting our border, here we go. And we're starting with two knit. and two purl ribbing across the whole row. Not worrying about your pattern now because we are just doing our border. So two knit and two purl. And carry on till the end of the row. And once you've finished your four rows of your knit two purl two ribbing, you're ready to cast off. So insert into the first stitch, knit that first stitch, knit the next stitch, bring the first knit stitch over the second one, and you have cast off. And now I'm going to make it easy for everybody and we're just going to do a knit cast off all the way along. So don't worry about changing it to do a purl cast off. We'll just knit them all and that makes it much easier. So knit the next one, insert the first over and off. Once more, knit the next stitch and over. And I'm on my last cast off, taking that one off, and we're left with one stitch on the needle. And then we'll cut off the yarn, and then that will just go through our loop. Needle comes off, and you're finished your blanket. And now we've got our big eyed dull end darning needle. Thread that yarn onto the needle. And let's just weave it in to our end here. And because we did that wonderful Russian join, we've got no little pieces of yarn to deal with. All we've got is our last piece of yarn there and our beginning. So I like to just go through an, about an inch or so or a few stitches, pull that through, and then just give that a tug. And I've come through this way, and then I like to just come back again and weave it in again. Coming back the other way. Give it a little tug. And cut off your end. And do the same with the beginning of your knitting. And so for my final measurement, I'm going to say it's approximately 31 inches or about 79 centimeters in width. And for my length, I have about 35 inches or about 89 centimeters.